my Perion just didn't have the resources on Helios for my project. And there was all this old dull tech just left lying around. They gave me an escort team, but the scavs chewed them up pretty quick. Oh, that's what happened to Anyway, then I was on my own. I knew they'd send a rescue party though. Never stop hoping. Ah, uh, yeah, Hyperion didn't send us. I did. But you're Hyperion! Oh, bruv! They're the coolest company! Best three years of my life! Would never want to work for anyone else! You picked a winner here, Felicity! I don't want to count talks before they're hatched, but you know what? I think you're right. Let's get dangerous. Robotics factory up ahead. That's where I was working on my prototype before the scav shot up and claimed the place. Sorry, bro. Ass. 
know if anything touches your eye. <laughs> Two words, my friend. No repro. Finally God. here! So, this is the birth canal of my new robot army, huh? Yeah, this is where I was doing most of my work before the staffs came and forced me to be their medic. We'll need to clear the area of them before getting to work. Thank you very much. Looks like a junkyard. Are you sure we can build something badass up in here? 
Of course, bruv. The scabs make it look way worse than it is. First Give thing we need out. to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. Guns! Glorious guns! Check back later to see what we Let's see if we can get you in through the window. Let me see if I can get the cover down. These guys are rude. Looks like scavs have barricaded themselves inside. That security glass is vulnerable to cold. Reckon you should freeze and smash. See round, not you. Piss off. should be in this room. Just flip it on. Oh, sorry. That electrified the water. At least this place has power now. That, good people, is the sound of progress. One step closer to saving the world. Okay, let's get down to serious business now. The first thing we need to do is complete the eye part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Well, let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> stick it in! Yeah, something like that. The little buggers back quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared.
Just place the pieces in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. Here it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. Okay, now pick it up. Brand new weapon for a brand new war. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. and the cage should open. Is this what we're building? Oh, I was so close to finishing this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Oh, it's, uh... Looks kind of like a... dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistruct highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. Hey! <gasps> oh, bruv, this is really happening! It's working! My old professor said I'd never amount to anything, but she was wrong! And now look at me. You want me inside that thing? I've been wondering about this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scanned. Uh, let me think about it. That's good, that's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. the targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a fast way to do that.
still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit, so you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. How about I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled? Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you. <laughs> 